I'm Edward P. Krenzelak. I'm director of the Pittsburgh Poison Center, located in Pittsburgh, a division of the uh, University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. And I'm a professor of pharmacy and pediatrics at the University of Pittsburgh, and also the uh, uh, Gordon J. Vanskoy Endowed Chair in Pharmacy. So I have a lot of different titles at the University of Pittsburgh. What we're discussing when we think about oleander, and we need to put that in sort of a generic term, oleander. And oleander, there's nerium oleander, which is grown in the United States, which is a, a ornamental plant. You'll find it especially in the southern states, so along boulevards, if you're driving to Disneyland. It's often mistaken for Thevisia peruviana, which is yellow oleander. And it's responsible for a, a large number of fatalities, but that's often confused then. It's oleander. So we hear nerium oleander, what do you think? Bad, poisonous, very toxic, when in fact it really isn't. One of the very common myths that we hear is about one leaf will kill a child. And I can't think of a single plant, any plant, whether it's Jimson weed or whether it's nerium or whether it's any other plant that's deemed to be toxic, where one leaf, the ingestion of one leaf will be fatal. There are the myths about Boy Scouts that went out and had a fire to roast weenies and they took oleander switches, stripped all the leaves off, took their knife and cut a little point on it so they could shove the wiener on and then roasted the wiener over the fire and died as a consequence of being exposed to nerium oleander. Strictly a myth. If I have one word of advice to people is don't believe everything you read on the internet, especially as it relates to plants, especially as it relates to nerium oleander, because much of the information is inaccurate and potentially dangerous. Well, I have a database and this database is represents data from the American Association of Poison Control Centers and involves 668,111 cases, if you can imagine that. It's a very large database. And these are all ingestions of plants. Let me put this into perspective for you. Uh, in about 2.3 million plant exposures over roughly the last 25 years, there have only been 43 deaths due to plant ingestions in the United States. None of them have involved nerium oleander, not one.